Hey everybody, it's Nicole with Stargazer Soaps. I am making two batches of soap. They're kind of the same soap, but they're different. I hope you can see. You kind of can. I'll adjust here in a second. I am doing oatmeal, milk, and honey soap. And I already have my lye milk solution in my batches. Um, I strained that, so it took me a little while, so I didn't film that. But it's already emulsified. This is my colloidal oatmeal that I just added. And the goat's milk that I'm using comes from a local farm. Um, it's raw goat's milk. And during my research, I have found that's the best because all of the good, healthy, skin loving stuff is still left in the milk. And then colloidal oatmeal, which is oatmeal, but it's um, much finer. And it's processed a little differently than regular oats. I'm doing two batches. scented and unscented versions. before I put in the Y solution, but oh well. So this is the fragrance. It's a really light scent. Um, it is oatmeal, milk, and honey scent. So when I was planning the soap, I thought for a long time um, about the oatmeal. Get the fragrance warmed up. I thought about adding regular oats as well that I ground um, to make it exfoliating. But then I really wanted a bar that was going to be nice and gentle and soft. So I decided to go ahead and leave the, um, just do the colloidal oatmeal this time. So this is my honey. I'm using raw honey from a local farm. It smells divine. Um, I actually had, I tried some the other day. It tastes amazing as well. that in, get this blended up. This should thicken pretty quickly with the honey. I'm not going to add any color to this. I've added everything I'm going to add. Get all of that out of my way. I'm going to leave it as natural as possible. going to darken significantly. It's going to kind of take on the color of the, whoops, of the honey. I have a light trace. I'm going to go a little heavier. Let's see how many air bubbles I can whip in. Well, I didn't think about that very 
very smartly. I should have put the fragrance in the other one. Hey, miss. Would you get me some hot water in here, please? getting me some water so I'm going to go ahead and pour this and then wash off my blender before I blend up the other one I don't want to um, get any, put any fragrance in there I should have planned that out a little better hindsight so here's the mold oh my gosh this is feeling really heavy right now and you can see it's already darkened up quite a bit Thank you. You can just set it down here for me. Thank you very much. What is that now? That's perfect. Okay. That one out of the way. That end seems really full, so I'm going to just try to be very careful with that. I'm going to off my blender really fast. Much better. Let me wipe down my table. I kind of have a mess going here. This is the first time I've really soaked since the big, well, since last year. <laughs> um, around Christmas was the last time I made any soap, so I'm a little... A lot of practice. sense of mind to keep my spatula separated. Well, that's good. I thought about that at least. Get that rinsed off. I do have two more batches that I'm going to do today. At least that's the plan anyway. I hear somebody up from nap, so it might not be for a while. I actually started getting these ready. 10 o'clock this morning, and it's about 5.30 now. Just have had a lot going on throughout the day, and we've just had a lot of stuff going on lately altogether. Um, you know, there's some sort of a bug going around, so everybody's been sick, and Things are starting to normalize. Okay. So, 
Okay, I think it's set up enough, and I'm going to be smart about this and start with the unscented first. And I don't, I'm just going to do some swirls, I think. And then I'll just mark my loaves so that I remember which is scented and which is not. I suppose I could always grab a different skewer, too. I had to pick more up. I bought some at the store today. I really want to find some, like some, um, I don't know, reusable chopsticks or something. What I like to find today were bamboo skewers. They were a hundred for a dollar, so I thought, eh. I just like to reuse as much as I can. And yeah, I say that as I'm wearing disposable gloves, but um, I had oil on my hands and I just didn't want to fiddle with the other gloves at the time. But I have been wearing my black gloves all day today. I don't know what I'm doing with my tops here. I'm just kind of fluffing them a little bit. One side of this is much fuller than the other side. Which is odd, but it is what it is. I didn't want to smack it down because it just kept... Um, when I did smack them down, they kept like sloshing out of the mold and I was just afraid I was going to end up with a colossal mess that I just really don't want to deal with right now because I have been standing and prepping all day and I have pretty bad back issues and I'm having a really bad back day. Yesterday I did a project where I decided to get a bunch of meals ready and frozen, so a bunch of freezer meals and um, it took me about four hours of standing nonstop, and I am paying for that today. But I think, in the end, it's going to pay off. So I'm going to smack these down now. Oh, that helped. I don't know if you could see it in the camera, but it did level out. It's not as high up here anymore. And this smells really good. I'm so excited to try this soap. Um, this will be cured March 4th. I'll have it up for pre-order. Yeah, I'm not going to make any promises. In the next couple of weeks. With as crazy busy as things are around the house right now, I just got a soap up that is about ready to cure in a couple of days. So I really didn't have it up in time for pre-orders. But anyway, so oatmeal, milk, and honey. Um, with local goat's milk and honey. And don't go anywhere because I will cut these and have the cutting video uh, attached to the end of this one. Okay, oatmeal, milk, and honey. This is the unfragranced loaf. And since there isn't anything to drag, I don't have to worry about that. No fancy tops to smash. centered here. So this again is the unscented. Hopefully there's enough light in here. Let me turn on more light. Let's see if that's better. I'm just going to have a little bit of my shadow. So in pieces that I'm going to cut down into sample bars. Move. I have the other loaf here next to the scented loaf, I mean the unscented loaf. So I didn't, I wasn't going to gel this. I was going to put it in the fridge and I decided not to. The My soaping room is kept pretty cool and normally what I do is I put all of my soaps in a cold oven. Um, I don't turn the oven on, I don't cook the soap, I just put it in there as a box. And I decided not to do that with these. And there's always the risk that you can overheat um, when you have ingredients that have sugar in them. 
like this one does. The milk and the honey. Um, I mean, honey is pure sugar. So there was the risk that I could overheat my soap, but it looks like it did just fine. Last piece. Let me wipe the wires down. I do use a paper towel to clean my wires because using the rags does leave lint behind. Um, I try to use as many reusable products as possible. Just checking. Okay. And here is the scented loaf. And I did the top slightly different. This one was a little more dramatic than the other one was. And it's cutting nice and easy. And let me move my tray of the unscented out of the way. Hold on here. Sorry about that, nice and boring, I know. So there is, there are my sample bars. Hopefully I'm in the camera. So let me grab, so here's a scented and an unscented, and there is no difference, I mean, other than the top. Last night, I, I would say actually the scented is slightly darker, but not by much, a little bit of oatmeal. This one smells really good. It's really light. And again, it's fragrance with an oatmeal, milk and honey fragrance. I used raw goat's milk and raw honey, both from local farmers. And the honey place um, that I used is called, I need to look, Creekside Honey. And the honey is just, it smells so good. It's really unfortunate that the scent doesn't carry through to the soap. And here's the last piece. So again, this will be cured March 4th, and I will have it up for pre-order before then. And it'll be available on my site at stargazersoaps.com. Thanks for watching.